Hey race fan, Brian Davis races, and you can too. Today, we are going mountain bike racing, which is awesome, because it's a gorgeous day, fall, it's gonna be so pretty, and there's all my crap. So I'm gonna bring my bike, that's all my clothes, helmet. See, fall weather riding requires a lot of contingency. Is it gonna be cold? Is it gonna be warm? I don't really know. There's my food. There's a bunch of follow hollow socks, so people can check them out at the race. And then that's all my camera stuff. I think that's it. All right, here we are at the race, made it. There's a zoo right around the corner, so sometimes the lions uh, roar as you're racing. Very motivating. All right, that was easy. All set. That goes on my bike. I don't even have to pin my jersey. Delightful. Plenty time for a big fat warm up too because that'll increase my hours for the week. Coming off the 20 hour week, two weeks ago, this week I had like almost 10. And my goal for this week is to ramp that back up to like 15 or so. So that's the plan. And it starts today because today is Sunday. Third race this season, and I've ridden my mountain bike five times, I think, total. It's a sad mountain biking season. Too much air. He's gonna be dirty today. I like it. All right, race fam, let's go bike racing. So this race is about 45 minutes away from my house. They're on trails that I've ridden many times, but I still don't really know this trail system because it's so overlappy. It's easy to create unique routes every time. And again, I'm just, I only guess I only ride it like two or three times a year, so maybe I shouldn't know it. But so it's kind of a unique start for this race. We're doing a rollout start and behind the golf cart which was okay. It was a little, I was really actually pretty concerned about this as not being a good idea, but it worked out fine. So the pace golf cart is going to duck out of here in a second, and then it's going to be pretty full gas. And I, f I say full gas, I guess, lightly because um, it's strung out pretty straight because there's one clear track to be in here in this section. And um, after that, there's not... It's not a great place to be. So let's see, we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spot, twelve spot, somewhere in there. And that's okay. Going into the first little batch of single track, I felt pretty comfortable. And sometimes you can see the heart rate on the Garmin. I have the older Garmin that is nearly impossible to see in the sun. I'm working on that. I'm gonna try a Wahoo. A friend let me uh He's gonna let me borrow his Wahoo for a little bit and test that out. I'm just so frustrated with Garmin lately that I'm definitely shopping for some new options all uh, right <clears throat> now I will tell you in a few minutes we're gonna get a big glop of mud on this on the camera lens and I did not clean that off for an extraordinarily long time so I apologize for that uh, but I tried to edit the footage so we're usually turning right <laughs> most of the time to avoid how frustrating that splotch of mud is but uh, all right, so this race is not a WARS race. WARS, W-O-R-S, is the Wisconsin off-road series that's probably the biggest, well, it's not probably, it's definitely the biggest mountain bike race in our state and maybe even throughout the whole Midwest. And this is not a WARS race. This is just a uh, grassroots race put on by the local Nordic ski team that maintains and, or I shouldn't say, well, I guess they do maintain and uses these trails. They put up lights last year, so... They do all kinds of stuff to uh, benefit these trails and this trail system. It's owned by the county, I believe, Reforestation Camp Brown County. And the trails are pretty vast. There's quite a few of them, and they're really nice trails. There's really not a ton of hills in here. They're little punchy, short little climbs. Uh, it's called affectionately called Stump Farm because I think this whole area was uh, created for paper tree replanting. So there's a lot of stumps in the area. I'm guessing. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about that. All right, so we're a couple minutes into the race. I wanted to leave pretty much this whole shot up, and we're going to get into this single track, and then it's kind of interesting what they did. So there's a d big double track section to get to the single track, then we turn into the single track section. It's a pretty short section, and we turn back on the course as it opens up here in just a minute, and then we um, 
you have time to reshuffle before you get back into a pretty long stretch of very tight single track. So there's really no opportunity for passing uh, except for this little section coming up. So like I said, I felt pretty good in the start. Um, I felt like tire-wise is going to be an interesting story throughout this race. So tire-wise, I felt like I wish I would have put a little bit more tire pressure in because they already felt like I was a little bit light on pressure. Um, but the flip side of that is I felt really confident in these leaves and mucky turns, no problem. And I am running a three inch tire. I'm on a salsa bear grease frame and I run what I call my summer setup, which is a Bluto fork and then this uh, three inch tires. Now I really do wish I had a cross country mountain bike, a proper race mountain bike. I feel like I leave a lot of speed out on the trail by using this thing, but run what you brung it's all i got so that's what i'm gonna race and then when i race fat bike i'll set this up for winter riding with four inch tires with studs and um, it works great for both or it really works great for both but it's not a master certainly at the cross country racing so here i'm going to grab a couple spots everybody's just kind of relaxing and then you're going to see a pretty good cram into this big hard left turn um david is gonna come on my inside and take a pretty aggressive line and I, I congratulated him afterwards because he was definitely freaking me out. You can hear me say left turn coming up here in a second, trying to verbally ward him off and he, he didn't bite, which was good. It's bike racing, it's not hugs and smooches and tea time. Left turn. There he, there he goes and then you're gonna see somebody come on the outside. That was a good move, you know, no fault there. Everybody's battling for their spot and that's that's what racing is all about and everybody's completely friendly afterwards there's no animosity so that section goes on for a while i'm going to make a little cut scoop up to this section there's going to be a uh, that's mile one so we're one mile into the race hard to see the timer a little crash here this guy has a bobble and that actually created the separation that's going to pretty much tell the story of the race so that little group of five now we are one two three four five um we have a pretty good blast here for quite a while, but that leader group, remember we were like 11 or 12 back, so there's four or five guys up the road. Now what's interesting is there's a short course and a long course, and we all started at the same time. So some of these guys are doing a short course fat bike race of 12 miles, and some of these guys are doing a long course mountain bike race or fat bike of 24 miles. I was doing the 24 mile race, but, and some people, I don't know, signed up for the 12 and ended up doing the second line. I don't know what they did, but it was fun. Everybody had a good time. So you can see my heart rate here, 162. For me, that is absolutely pegged. So what I'm trying to do is I left that little group of five, and I'm going to go try to catch that guy up the road. Um, that was mile five we just passed by. <clears throat> now, I'm pretty maxed out here, which is maybe was not a great move. I probably should. Mm, whatever. You know, it's brave. Go for it. Do it. Do the thing. Do the thing. So then I get into the single track, and I'm feeling pretty good about myself. None of those guys came up on me. But as I kept working the single track with my tire gripping as well as it was, I thought, man, I'm, I, I did create some separation between the gentleman behind me. Uh, and then I figured out why it was hooking up so well, the tires. And then ultimately the tires were not hooking up so well. And here I take a wrong turn. That's super frustrating. The volunteers there directing the course were sitting. Uh, I just wish they would have moved one of the chairs to that opening so it would be much more obvious to not go that way. Uh, slightly frustrating, but whatever. It's bike racing. Um, now I lost my spot. I was in the lead of this little group, and now I'm that sucked behind this little group. Uh, so I gave myself a little pity party for that, and uh, there you can see them riding away from me because I'm frustrated mentally. And there they are again, riding away from me. There's a shooting range nearby. Hey, well, that's situation report. I was doing okay. I took a wrong turn, which is unfortunate. I gave myself. A pity party and then my group left so pity party is over and I put in some work seven miles in oh I got a flat tire that's the situation front tires flat all right you see those riders ahead of me they had passed me already when I figured out the tire was flat I was really losing speed, and it took me a while to believe that I had a flat tire, but go, I go, go. definitely did have a flat tire. Now, later what happened was the um, valve stem oh. nut 
yep. had gotten loose, so the whole That's valve fine. was leaking air. So you'll see what will happen here. I'll... I think I just burped. Nope. Because I got like no pressure at all. That's not true. But I'm still right. Well, that part's true. I had no pressure. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it was because the valve stem had gotten loose, and that's how I lost that's all my a hair. So I'm just kind of trying to baby this thing into the start finish, which was at like three miles to go when I figured out I was definitely flat. So three miles of babying this thing. It was like riding on ice. It was so wishy washy in the turns. So I'm going to run here to the uh, Broken Spoke tent and grab a pump. And, um, you know, I, I actually, at this point, I didn't know if it was my front or my rear tire that were problematic. But it, So I did them both, pumped them both up. I have no idea how much, but off and running after that. Let's try that again. So you can see that was 54 minutes on the clock, and then I did okay. the next lap much faster because I finished in like an hour 38 so all right situation report had to stop there put an undetermined amount of air into my tire and now I can race the second lap and race it I did of course I you know you know you're racing your tire goes lap. flat like that and you think screw this I'm out of here but man it's a gorgeous day I drive up here away from the fam. All the training you do, the eat right stuff, live right. So, you know, don't be a chicken. And try to find some when wins. It all comes together. That's the part I said that later in the video, but I couldn't find the footage. But try to find some wins. Go for a Strava. So record. I'm gonna go knock out a lap. Go for a heart rate. Keep record. Her going. Do something. Oh, there's win. my teammate Shrekker. I'm gonna catch his ass. Okay, past Shrekker, that's I'm a, a rock star. But I'm not. <laughs> I felt Relax. really good on this lap. I had air in my tire, felt like a million bucks. The bike was handling well, I was tuned in, fitness felt great, legs felt great. Okay. I'd look down and see my heart rate and just say, push, not push, push, I wanna see a higher heart rate, I wanna see a higher heart rate. And that was actually really motivating, because every time it would dip, I would find more energy to push, so that was kinda unique. when we go uphill they're overall hanging in there you know what didn't hurt is my low back that for once felt really good throughout this whole race so i think the losing of weight oh something's flat again is a huge help and then i got a, another time. flat it went it failed again in the last lap Seriously. so there's like three miles to go in the last lap and you're it, okay maybe two and a half miles and then then it failed again so it was a long ride into the finish Great event put on by these guys. Yeah, bunch yeah, of food, yeah. bunch of beer. How was your race? Beautiful oh, trails. They blow the leaves off the whole system. You must Pretty have awesome. blown out the uh, <laughs> the whole shot because you were way ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible start. All right, that's it for race day, man. Oh, grassroots racing, super fun. Great to see everybody. Beautiful, unbelievably nice day. So I'm gonna go home and grill some food. I might even buy some beer. <laughs>